Hello YouTube, this is my video of an $150 Ultra PC. Now of course this is only $150, so you're going to have to use only two very common previous components. Those components would be a hard drive and an optical disk drive. First product right here is a Celeron G530 2.4 GHz dual core. This is a Sandy Bridge, so it is up there with the latest technology. It can easily complete simple tasks, um, managing like a web browsing, and uh, even gaming if you add in a really good graphics card in there. Without the GPU it does provide for a decent entertainment system and a work at home PC. At $40 you cannot go wrong with this CPU. We are going to have a low end processor and that means a lot of RAM but we can't really do a lot of RAM if it's only $150 so we only have a gigabyte of crucial memory it runs at 1600 megahertz so that means video editing, gaming, not so much, uh, web browsing, YouTube, uh, it can definitely manage that. It's only 10 bucks, but you can easily get 4 gigabytes dual, ch dual channel memory for about 25 on Amazon. We will be placing the components on this motherboard. This is a Biosar LGA1155H61 Micro ATX motherboard. It is only $50. It has two slots for RAM, a PCI times 2 slot. Uh, but unfortunately, it does not have an HDMI out port, so you'll most ha likely have to use a DVI or VGA. This right here is a Rosewell Micro ATX computer case with a 400 watts of power supply. It is only $50. It has a very glossy facade to it. It is very glossy. Make sure to keep your fingers away from it if you want to keep uh, the cool look to it. This is our biggest sacrifice in the video. Uh, only because it comes with a power supply and usually power supplies fail uh, with a case especially this is one of the cheaper uh, may maybe even cheapest ones uh, I would ever give um, it's gotten okay reviews few people had complaints and it does a job the model number for the case is R363-M-BK it does not have a 120 millimeter rear end fan instead it has a uh, 90 millimeter rear end fan, but as you see, we only have one stick of RAM, uh, very and a very low end processor. So we won't expect those things to overheat. The airflow in the case is all right, uh, barely provides enough room for our components, and overall, it does a job like many other components. It is very simple to take it apart. It is made of SGCC steel. And overall, decent quality relevant to the price. Thanks for watching my video. It's the Kippy Off. Uh, please rate, comment, like, and subscribe. That would be all.